Good morning. Welcome to this new Absinthe tutorial from me, Mark. Sound Megas, Cubase Guru, whatever you want to call me. Um, today I'm going to do the final section of the Evolving Pad sound that we've been doing in Absinthe. Which was the one with the, the 16 bar intro. Now what I've done, I've been making a song recently and it was kind of sparked by a sound that I was doing, same as this, an evolving sound that I was doing in Zebra yesterday. And now I've gone and got, I've got the, the Zebra intro, but then I've gone and used this evolving pad here, and now I'm just going to change that evolving, evolving pad again. So I want to, I, I like the, the evolving aspect of it, but now I want to change it into something a bit more rhythmic that fits into my track. So it's going to be in this section, and it's this sound. You, you obviously, if you've been following those videos, these videos, you know what sound I'm talking about. So anyway, you know that sound. It's quite industrial, actually. The way it's kind of turned out. Um, what I'm going to try and do now is make it a bit more melodic, a bit more ry rhythmic, maybe. I'm not sure. I've not done anything yet, but I want it to fit in with this. So what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to mess around with it and see if I can make it a little bit more rhythmic. So it means I'm going to probably change quite a bit. But I just, I thought, maybe you're not interested, but I thought you might be interested in the train of thought that I kind of go through when I'm making music. A lot of the time I've got an idea, but then something happens and triggers all these new ideas and I don't like to waste time really. If something triggers an idea, I just like to jump right in and get on with it. So now... Again, this is a very basic patch. What I'm going to do now is add a comb filter down here. Not a comb filter, the cloud. So, because I want to mess around with the filter section, this cue, if you listen to this, I like how it's kind of like to me, that's almost like a, it's almost like it's talking. It's almost it's quite organic, and I'm I'm hoping to get that, make that kind of rhythmic. So how am I going to do that? Well, first thing I'm going to do is just turn off everything except oscillator A, and I'm going to change the envelopes. Now I want them to be more rhythmic, so I'm going to go to the amplitude in A. No, I'm not. I'm a liar. I'm going to go back to the patch. I'm going to go back to the filter. And I'm going to modulate the filter's Q settings. That's what I want to do with a rhythmic envelope. So if I come back to new, filter master 1, filter master 1, cloud filter Q. So we're going to use that. And I'm just going to go to here and load an envelope template. And... Let's use a step sequencer, why not on 16s? 16s going to be too much? We could try 8s, let's try 8s. I'll just magnify that. Right, so, and make sure it's on loop, sync. Right, that's just a random design that I've done there. And what I'm going to do is put this onto the amplitude envelopes. So I'm just going to come up to edit, copy the envelope, and put it onto A. So edit, paste envelope. Let's hear what that sounds like. Thank you. 
Right, I'm just going to copy that again and put it onto the filter. All I'm doing is messing around, really. I just want to get something that sounds rhythmic to me. Still got that weird voice kind of aspect. Now, if I come back to the patch, see if I can find a more appropriate cue setting. We could do the same with the the uh, the frequency of the filter also. Let's see if we can mess it out. If any of this grain stuff, the granular stuff. I don't want to overdo it too much because I want it to still be kind of defined. But it's just I'm just looking for this organic background aspect to the sound. Really, now obviously it's going to be it's going to it's going to sound weird because I've only done it on A at the moment. See if it's coming, see if it's kind of sounding anywhere near. What I'm after. Okay, it's definitely rhythmic. Let's see what happens if we go back into the envelopes and again copy that. Put it onto B and C. Yeah, why not? C. Right. Well, this should be interesting. What I've done there is put the stereo button on, now I'm just going to pan them. That's kind of what I was after. I was really just after a, an organic, otherworldly... It's difficult to explain. It's like a, a computer voice, but also an organic, alien-type, weird, creaturey-type voice in the background. Because it's, I think, with this zebra sound here, it's got an otherworldly kind of feel. That's where... And it all started from this zebra sound here. Just when I was listening to this, actually. Which made me do the bass. And the bass is a kind of hollow, square wave type sound as well, all done in zebra. Um, and then we've got the absinthe evolving pad here. And to me, it's just got a on a dream state about it. Maybe I'm just nuts, I don't know. I think this is going to sound quite cool. another filter in here. I think it needs a bandpass. 
And what about... That's added a little bit more. That might be okay. And maybe if I modulate the filter's cutoff frequency with the same type of envelope, so if we come in here, new filter master 2 frequency, okay. Edit, paste envelope. I like the high ones because it's, it's almost like a. It's almost like an offbeat open hi hat. Slightly, obviously, not really, but you can hear the sh sh of the third oscillator that is, of this one. Hear it? Okay, let's have a listen. Okay, and what's let's have a look at the patch. It goes through the multi tap effect. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's see what happens if we mess around with the wet and dry. Okay, I think that's our patch done here. Um, I'm just going to save that new patch. And I would call that something like Organic Alien. Anyway, you get the idea. So yeah, I think that'll do me for the time being. Thanks for watching. Hope you found the video informative. Any questions, as per usual, leave them in the comments. Hope you have a good weekend. And I shall see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.